Hello, I'm James. Welcome back to my birding channel. I'm here at one of Singapore's most iconic tourist spots. I'm at the Gardens by the Bay at Marina South. While Singapore aims to be a city in the garden, the Gardens by the Bay at Marina South is literally a garden within the city. Built on totally reclaimed land, construction began in 2007 and was open to the public since 2012. Gardens by the Bay is today a world-renowned botanical wonderland. But with all these artificial man-made structures and tourist attractions within the heart of the city, you may wonder if this place is a good spot for birding. Well, I can tell you for a fact that officially there are 120 species that were found in this 54 hectares of gardens. How do I know this? For a few years after the gardens settled and the trees and plants started maturing, I was part of a group of birding volunteers here at the garden. And every fortnight, we undertook to walk all around the garden by the bay to count every bird and to record every species we could spot. This bird count program was a way for them to keep a finger on the health of these gardens. More birds would indicate that the garden is thriving. Unfortunately, there has been no bird count since the pandemic started and the total of 120 species of bird were as of 2019. Oh, by the way, if you're new to this place or not too sure of the birds here, you can grab a copy of the bird guide from the information counter. Birds to watch for in gardens by the bay. This is a pamphlet to help visitors identify the 23 most common birds found here. It gives you the common name of the bird, the scientific name, and whether it's a resident bird or a migrant bird. If it's labeled migrant, it would mean that the bird may not be always here. Beautiful bird pictures, don't you think? I'll tell you a secret. These birds were all photographed here at Gardens by the Bay by yours truly. Oh, except for the grey heron, which was submitted by a fellow volunteer, Veronica. So now I will show you around this place, especially those transects where we would do our bird count and where we would find exotic birds or where the birds tended to gather or roost here. As I had mentioned, Gardens by the Bay is very large, approximately the size of 100 football fields. So, 
it's not going to be possible to do a detailed tour of every place in this short video. Instead, I will use the garden's bird count program transects to give you a brief summary of what you can expect in each sector. There are five transects which corresponds very roughly to the type of vegetation there and thus attracting different bird species to each area. The five transects are the Meadow and Serene Garden, the Heritage Gardens, the Silver Garden, the Water Lily Ponds, and lastly, the birders' favourite spot, the Lotus Pond at Sate by the Bay. The Meadows has a wide expanse of open field with trees planted further apart from each other. So the birds you'll find here will tend to be the grassland or ground species. Munias, pedifield pipits, prinias, lapwings including the red wattle and the occasional mass lapwings. Pike fantails find a nesting ground above the canals surrounding the meadows. Around the planet exhibit where the floating baby sculpture is, you'll find flocks of common miners feeding on the oil palm seeds and lots of parakeets. A rare rosy starling was spotted here a few years back too. In the taller trees of the Serene Garden, the white-bellied sea eagles and Brahmini kite build their nests in the tree top canopies. The hill miners also flock to the tall trees here. The Heritage Garden has the widest variety of plants and trees in this garden. And because of this diversity, it contains the most variety of bird species to be found here. From palms to evergreen trees, flowering shrubs to cactuses and native plants, this transect has always produced the most bird sightings. You'll find owls in the palms, sunbirds in the flower beds, even the blue wing and hooded pitas were spotted here during migratory season. Along the banks of the Dragonfly Pond, the sunbirds, especially the brown-throated sunbirds, flock to the ginger plants, while the red-legged cricks, as well as the ruddy-breasted cricks, wander all over the Indian and Chinese garden grounds. The silver garden at the far end of the garden is where you'll find the bee-eaters especially around the bamboo plants and as this area is given for tall reeds you will find wobblers of all kinds here including the palace grasshopper the oriental reed and the arctic wobblers especially during the migration season chestnut munia whitehead munia scaly breasted munias and even the javan munia can be seen year-round in this part of the garden. The occasional orange cheek and common wax bills are also to be found here. The water lily pond has seen the lesser whistling ducks and the cotton pygmy goose trying to establish their presence in the lake but is fraught with danger from the water monitor lizards.
you'll find the herons and little egrets all along the edge of the pond. Just beyond the pond and near the children's playground, the flowering trees attract the flower packers and bulbuls in big numbers. And here, where the pond flows out to the Kingfisher Pond, you'll find lots of kingfishers, especially the stock bills. The Lotus Pond beside Sate by the Bay is the perennial favourite spot for birders. Here, excitement always builds whenever the common kingfisher or the black bittern turns up. With every bird photographer, hoping to get that perfect shot of the common kingfisher resting on the lotus flower. Just beyond the lotus pond towards the garden's headquarters, you'll find trees and plants that attract the large tail night jars, the emerald doves among the gravel, and also the greater cockle. Look for these birds around the commemorative tree planted by the late PM Lee Kuan Yew. Okay, I hope this short video will serve as a starter guide to birding here at Gardens by the Bay for you. Of course, there's still a lot of species of bird here to be seen, to be counted, to be photographed by you. Keep your eyes peeled the next time you come here. Thank you for watching this video on birding at Gardens by the Bay. If you would like to see more of my birding videos around Singapore, do subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell and you will be informed when my next video will be uploaded. Until I see you again in my next video, happy birding, stay safe and bye!